Hey guys, it's Austin again, and I'm here to do this week's challenge, which is to find a song in a genre that we don't generally like. Um, originally, I was planning to do this video with country music, because I'm not a huge fan of country music, but then I thought about um, Jimmy Buffett and Zac Brown Band. Those are probably my two biggest country music artists that I listen to, so I thought it wouldn't be really appropriate since I already kind of dipped my foot into country music. So instead of that, I actually chose gospel religious type music. I don't listen to a lot of this, not because religion isn't important to me, but because I just don't generally like the slow pace of religious or gospel music. I usually prefer something with a bit more pep to it, I guess, a bit more upbeat. So I went around and I tried to find a gospel song or a religious song, and I ended up with Mary Did You Know. Um, I found a lot of different covers of this. I couldn't find the one single original, so I chose the CeeLo Green cover that he did a few years back, and I will play it here in the background for you as I talk. So the beginning of the song starts out pretty slow. It's just got a, an instrumental for 20, 30 seconds. It's kind of the lack of upbeat that I was talking about that I don't generally like with religious or gospel music so I was kind of skeptical about whether I would like it or not but I pushed through and after that it kind of it goes into the lyrics a little bit and the lyrics are fine I don't have any problem with them I think it's a cool message once the lyrics kick in though it's it's kind of a surreal experience because CeeLo Green raps and he performs hip-hop songs and and there's a certain sound that you expect from CeeLo Green, which is not delivered in the song at all. He's usually known for being a bit more powerful with his voice. Not to say that his voice isn't powerful in this, but it's a different kind of power, more of like nurturing, I guess. Um, it's a lot softer than you would expect from someone like CeeLo Green. So that was pretty cool to listen to someone who I already associate with a certain sound singing in a different way. Another interesting thing I noticed about this song, and maybe it's just this cover, but the lyrics seem really joyous and celebratory in the context of religion, but the way it's performed sounds almost somber. It's very slow, it's got sad sounding piano, it's got powerful violins in the background, usually associated with sadness or something like that. So it's a bit of a weird dynamic between like I said, joyous and sad. Overall, I'd say that I did enjoy this cover of a song that I probably wouldn't have listened to otherwise, just because I don't generally like the genre that it's in. Um, I hope everyone else enjoyed the songs that they chose for this week. I can't wait to watch and see what you have to say about them. Um, I guess it just goes to show that you can't really judge a book by its cover or judge a song by its genre. So. Glad I did this.